Hello everyone, it's Gigabeef here and today we're going to be looking at leg meta, in particular one specific kind of leg meta using the P90. Now let me just clarify first off, I'm really not a leg meta guy. Historically I've been quite terrible with this playstyle, either through positioning wrong or accidentally shooting at people's armoured thorax with muscle memory, that kind of thing. A quick recap for those who are less familiar as to what this means, leg meta in EFT takes advantage of how the armour and the health systems work, bypassing opponent's gear and taking them down unconventionally through leg damage alone. The beauty of this, in theory, is that there is no leg armour in Tarkov, so everybody is equally vulnerable, and secondly, there is a range of weapons that this strategy can be used with, some of which are very, very cheap. Repeated shots into the legs firstly deal regular damage and then black them out once their HP is reduced to zero. Once this happens, damage spreads from the black limbs to the rest of the body and once the overall health pool is depleted, the player dies. There are different multipliers for the damage spreading of each body part once blacked, with the arms reducing damage by 30%, the legs being one for one and the stomach adding 50% extra on top. This means that you need to distribute an entire PMC's health pool of 440 damage into their legs to kill them, which is why leg meta weapons usually feature either super high flesh damage in the case of shotguns, or relatively high flesh damage combined with a high rate of fire in the case of the SMGs and other more traditional guns. While not a cheap chad killer so to speak compared to something like the Kedder or the Buckshot shotguns, the P90 for leg noobs like me has a place for one particular reason, the 50 round mag as a default. With the number one time to kill spot taken by the KS-23's Shrap-10 and Shrap-25 shells and closely followed by Magnum Buckshot and other shotgun rounds, while being very fast to kill in theory, these usually have the disadvantage of extreme burst damage and high recoil, so if you miss or you have to reload it can be the end of you. The fastest time to kill on the more conventional weapons goes to the ACP Vector and its rip rounds that deal a gnarly 137 damage each, killing in 4 shots to the leg. Combined with the second highest fire rate in the whole game, a 1100 RPM, although this sounds like a winning combo on paper, personally I have found it much more difficult in practice to actually pull off. Only being compatible with 30 round magazines, at least for me, almost turns the fire rate into a disadvantage in some situations as if you miss, you miss fast and then you run out of bullets. While the P90 isn't quite as devastating as the ACP Vector, the 50 rounders that it come with are much more forgiving, allowing you to spray at enemies for way longer than they expect and to pre-fire fairly liberally as you've got plenty in the tank for a few missed shots. Also because the mag is the default and the only one specifically designed for this weapon, you don't get the negative ergo that you would on an equivalent gun such as the 9mm Vector with the 50 round drum. It also has a much more sensible fire rate of 900, which is still extremely fast but more steady, bearing in mind that the P90 has much better horizontal recoil than the ACP Vector as well. The rounding question that works best for leg meta on the P90 is a simple case of sorting by the damage dealt, coming out with the R37F rounds. Because of the weird names on the P90 rounds, I kept forgetting which one was which, so just try to remember F for flesh. Or F's in the chat for the guy who got his legs taken off, something like that. As is usual for this type of bullet, the penetration is awful at 8, but clearly that's not how we arrived at this round in the first place so we don't really care as its 98 damage is a 5 hit kill to the legs. One thing to point out here is the fragmentation chances listed for each bullet. As it states on the wiki, rounds with lower than about 20 pen don't ever fragment due to what is referred to as an in-game bug, although at this stage the rounds appear to be balanced around this so it's kind of more of a feature these days. But we can ignore the 100% frag chance as otherwise that would mean we were getting 50% extra damage per shot which is not the case. Usually with the best in slot flesh rounds like RIP they are typically expensive-ish but the R37F round is surprisingly cost effective. Accessible at Mechanic 4 after Gunsmith 10, it's not a low level round as this means you need to be at least level 40 to access it, however once you get there it only costs 253 rubles per round which is very inexpensive relatively. You can also buy 120 per trader reset which is not a bad amount but with the fire rate of the P90 and the mag capacity it is surprising sometimes how much you get through. Players typically take more magazines for the P90 than they would with other weapons because of the difficulty of repacking the ammo in raid as although the 50 round mags are lovely to use they come with a plus 75% repack time which makes live reloading truly painful. This is where the next round comes in R37X. 
With 81 damage, it isn't quite as effective as the F version, as it's a 6 round kill rather than 5, but it is available at Mechanic 3, and even cheaper at 175 rubles per bullet instead. If you don't have Mechanic 4, you can certainly use this one instead, given how close the performance is practically. You can buy a good 400 rounds of this too, so it's the one that I've been stacking on the bottom of the magazine to increase the number of raids that I can do with the F round loaded on top, typically 25 X's at the bottom and 25 F's on the top. Theoretically speaking, you could do some kind of kooky alternating version which would still deal a 5 shot kill, for example 2 F's and 1 X repeating over and over because 5 hits with the F version gives you 50 damage to spare so to speak with 490 total, meaning that you could slip in a few of the X version without affecting the time to kill. But until we have the ability to set ammo pattern presets or something like that, I don't really recommend doing this. Regarding the weapon itself, for this strategy honestly I'm not that fussy about the weapon. You can just add a laser to the side and head off into the sunset with your leg trimmer in hand, or if you want to add a few bits you can get the top rail from Mechanic that will allow you to add your short range optic of choice, which I do recommend because the default sight for the P90 is incredibly hard to use in my opinion. The suppressor is very optional at 71k from Mechanic, I really don't think it's worth it if building from scratch, but lots of players use them which is where I got all of mine from. So if you have them, then maybe just use them, but I wouldn't be super excited to go and buy one for this build given the cost and the strategy that we're looking at employing here. There are two barters for the weapon, one for 6 GP coins for Mechanic 2, which really only makes sense if they're under 32k on the flea, or you have non find in raid ones because you put them in a dock's case and then died or something like that. But it does come with a suppressor, a nice EOTech holographic and a magazine already if that's kind of how you're looking to build the gun to begin with. The two military cables barter from Peacekeeper 3 just doesn't make sense in 1212 as they're about 75k each, so your best bet is just to go onto the fleet and see what you can get at the time. I've seriously had a lot of fun with this weapon on Factory in particular, which is where I've played the most with it, as I find the lack of cover means that it's way easier to get in the right position to spray people down. You don't often get into those awkward fights where your opponent's legs are covered by a rock or they're kind of too far away, although with the P90's stable recoil and fast fire rate I will say you can actually hit people from a fair distance. Because you have to hit 5 shots, you will get beaten by higher level PMCs that have good aim using BP rounds for 762 or higher because they only have to hit you 2 times, 3 at most in the thorax depending on your armour. However, because Factory is 50-50 naked players with shotguns and the other half people who actually have some gear, being able to one-tap the shotty guys with R37F's 98 damage in the thorax has actually gotten me way more kills than I expected, especially at slightly longer distances. Never underestimate these players, as even a double barrel with regular buckshot can kill you in the legs if the double action shot catches you just right. We'll take a look at some fun gameplay now, but as usual a big shout out to all my patrons who help keep the channel improving, do stop by and check it out with the link in the description if you want to get access to some more content over there and support me at the same time, Patreon has some of the fairest creator splits in the industry so it does make a real difference. I can't hear anything. Oh this man just had a terrible time. I feel quite bad about that. I throw it like that. That oh, gone. It's still really obvious. Yeah, maybe no one will see it there. People will just think it's scav armor. Our duty is done. Level seven first time in factory and bad ammo. Well, can you imagine like this thing turns up around the corner and P90s you in the in the in the face with with leg meta rounds? Okay. With a dot for the moment. Okay. I was like, huh? Who's that? Oh, it's Tagilla. Okay, right. We're going then. Bye.
stream highlights could be a thing. I mean, maybe, but people don't really watch my stuff for stream highlights. Is the is the issue? The one's up on the left. The one's in there. Whoa! I mean, there's no, there's no way for him to kill me, right? <laughs> Basically, no way he can kill me. He always got you. He blacked, he blacked one leg. I don't think there was any real risk of dying there, but level, literally level one. That is, that is extremely upsetting. Oh, he's also level one. Oh god, I'm going to hell. And they got twenty round MP5 mags. Where is that scav? Ow. Where did that come from? A random nade of the gods. P90 is so slow. What have I done? I know I've done terrible things. Forgive me, Father, because I have sinned. Look at this. I'm the worst person alive. I mean, this is painful, isn't it? This is why people bring in, like, six mags to the P90 and then just never reload. Right. <clears throat> Enough of this. Did kind of want to kill, shoot some more guys in the feed. I wonder who I got naded by before. Who's this person? Where are they? As long as I face forwards, it's okay. The initiation of Giga Chad. Yes, that's a lot of that's a lot of mags. Who's laughing? Who's laughing? Who's laughing now? I want to run into an exit camper or something, but I'm not sure if there's any players left on the map. No ADS. That hit fire though. I'm just waiting to end in disaster like running face first into Tegilla. We ran into Tegilla face first last time and it was completely fine. He got completely gone down. <laughs> I killed a Yusek here. I didn't even know who that was. If you learned something, please consider dropping a like and a comment on the video. To see when I'm streaming, you can follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Check out our Scab Talk podcast in the links below. And with all that said, I'll see you next time. And as always, have fun in your raids.